Ahoy there, pirates. A mirror, or one falcon, here from Rare Thief. With the veil of the ancient secure, we can now turn our attention back to Golden Sands Outpost. Sadly, the outpost remains covered in fog and is on the verge of being lost forever. Merrick is currently stationed there, leading the rebuilding efforts. He's already rallied the former residents of the outpost to help restore it to its former glory. However, he needs even more help if he's really going to save the outpost. Meanwhile, the Servant of the Flame has other plans for Golden Sands. With the help of other like-minded pirates, he seeks to sacrifice the island and let the Shroud consume it. The future of Golden Sands hangs in the balance, and it's up to us, the Pirates of the Sea of Thieves, to pick a side and determine the fate of Golden Sands Outpost. So now that we know what's at stake, how exactly do we choose a side and vote for what happens to Golden Sands? Well, the Lost Sands adventure is divided into two paths, each path influencing the fate of Golden Sands, one way or the other. The Hunter's Path will have you siding with Merrick as you rebuild Golden Sands, while the Servant's Path will have you siding with the Servant of the Flame as you work towards making the outpost a barren wasteland. You can complete both paths, allowing you to understand the story and earn every available reward. But, you'll have to do more than play both sides to sway the fate of Golden Sands your way. Throughout the adventure, you'll want to perform specific actions that will either count towards saving the outpost or destroying it. Behind the scenes, the game will keep track of your actions, as well as the actions for your fellow pirates. At the end of the adventure, the actions of every pirate who participated will be tallied up, and the fate of Golden Sands will be revealed. If you hope to save the outpost, you will want to perform actions such as delivering supplies to Merrick and destroying Soul Flame rowboats before they reach Golden Sands Outpost. If you'd rather see Golden Sands go down in flames, you'll want to perform actions such as delivering relic caches for the servant and blowing up Soul Flame rowboats on Golden Sands Outpost. So now that you know how to choose a side, how do you complete the adventure and earn your rewards? To complete the Lost Sands adventure, you must complete the Hunter's Path by working with Merrick and the Servant's Path by working with the Servant. Completing the Hunter's Path will reward you with the Savior of Golden Sand Sails. Completing the Servant's Path will reward you with the Servant of the Flame's Lantern. To earn the Victor of Golden Sand's title, you'll need to complete all 11 deeds in the adventure. You can see what the deeds are and your progress towards them in the Adventure tab. There are no checkpoints for this adventure, but the adventure is broken up into multiple chapters that can be completed separately across different sailing sessions. So now you know how the adventure works and what we need to do to earn our rewards. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step guide. To start the Lost Sands adventure, you'll need to speak with Lorena at any active outpost across the Sea of Thieves. You can find her just outside the tavern. Once you've found Lorena, speak with her. You'll see several different dialogue options you can select. Choose the last option, Begin Adventure. Lorena will then prompt you with two more dialogue options. If you choose the Hunter's Path option, you will work towards saving Golden Sands Outpost. If you choose the Servant's Path, you will work towards destroying Golden Sands Outpost. You will want to complete both paths to earn all the rewards, but we'll start with the Hunter's Path first. We'll leave a timestamp in the description below if you want to jump ahead to the Servant's Path. For the Hunter's Path, you will start Chapter 1 as soon as you let Lorena know you want to help with Golden Sands Outpost. After speaking with Lorena, you will receive a note from her. This note will tell you to sail over to Golden Sands Outpost and help Merrick fix up the place. Golden Sands Outpost is in the Shores of Plenty region. You can locate the outpost on your map table at the coordinates D10. Sail to Golden Sands Outpost and meet with Merrick as soon as you're ready. Once you've arrived at Golden Sands, Dock your ship on the northwest side of the island and make your way to where the trading company emissaries used to be. You will find Merrick just in front of the gold hoarder's tent. Speak with him to complete chapter one. He'll be happy to see you and let you know that there's lots of work to be done. To continue, talk to Merrick again and choose the continue hunter's path option to let Merrick know you're ready to help Golden Sands. Selecting this option will start the second and final chapter of the hunter's path. Merrick will inform you that a couple of Golden Sands residents have gone missing after searching for supplies. He is worried about them and hopes you can find them. After Merrick finishes talking, you will receive Merrick's instructions. This list of tasks will have you speaking with Tina and Sharon and then delivering their supplies. You will need to complete every one of his tasks in one sitting to complete the chapter. There are no checkpoints for a chapter, so make sure you have about an hour to sail to each island and deliver the supplies. You can complete the tasks in any order, so you could sail to Cannon Cove and speak with Tina first, or you could sail to Smuggler's Bay and speak with Sharon first. As long as each task is crossed off from the list and you've spoken with Merrick in one sailing session, you have completed the chapter. We'll start by sailing to Cannon Cove to find Tina since that's closest. 
You will find Tina on Cannon Cove by the giant stone on the farthest west beach. She's standing next to a tall post with a yellow banner, so you can't miss her. Talk to Tina, and she will tell you what happened to her. A group of Reaper Phantoms smashed up a rowboat and stranded her out here. Tell her that you're here to help collect supplies, and she will tell you that she buried her crate of rum bottles on the island. The map to the crate of rum bottles is hiding in the smashed rowboat next to you. From Tina, turn around and look in the rowboat with the mounted yellow flag. You will see a rolled up map inside. Pick up the map, and it'll be added to your quest radial. It is an X marks a spot quest for Cannon Cove, with one X. At the X, you'll find the crate of rum bottles that you need to deliver to Golden Sands. Find the X and dig up the crate. As soon as you dig up the crate of rum bottles, a group of Reaper Phantoms will ambush you. You can either deal with them or make a run for it with the crate. Either way, you'll want to put the crate on your ship as safely as possible. You'll want to make sure you don't jump, fall, or take damage while holding the crate. While Merrick will take the crate in any condition, delivering the crate in perfect condition will unlock one of the 11 deeds. Don't leave Cannon Cove just yet though. There are two journals you can find here, one for Merrick and one for the servant. You'll need both to complete every deed. To find the Merrick journal, walk to the cove from the dock on the northwest side of the island. As you walk along the cove, you will find Merrick's journal lying on the ground next to some large rocks. From this journal, keep walking along the cove towards the beach camp. You'll find the servant journal nearby on the ground. Read these journals and then set sail back to Merrick with your crate of rum bottles. Deliver the bottles and you're halfway through your list of tasks. Once you've sold the crate to Merrick, it's time to head to Smuggler's Bay to find Sharon. You will find her on the southwest beach by the survivor's camp. She is also standing next to a tall post with a yellow banner, making it easy to spot her. Talk to Sharon and she will shout at you. After the shouting, talk to her about her supplies and she will tell you that she buried a crate of sailcloth on the island. She put the map for the crate's location in the broken rowboat nearby. Go to the smashed rowboat with a mounted yellow flag and pick up the map. Just like before, the map is an X marks a spot quest for Smuggler's Bay with one X. At the X, you'll find the crate of sailcloth you need to deliver to Golden Sands. Find the X, dig up the crate, and deal with the phantoms. Whether you run for it or wipe out the threat, safely return the crate to your ship. You'll want to make sure that the crate of sailcloth does not get wet as you sail back to Golden Sands. So, harpoon it from your ship off the island and keep it somewhere safe where the rain or a leak will not damage it. Again, Merrick will accept them no matter what condition, though, delivering a crate in perfect condition will unlock one of the 11 deeds. Before leaving Smuggler's Bay, you'll want to read another one of Merrick's journals here. Head to the east side of the bay to find it. Further east of the Bell and Wooden Ruins is a fishing camp, where you'll find the journal lying on the ground. Alright, back to your instructions. Once at Golden Sands, sail the sailcloth and you will cross off every task. With all four tasks completed, speak with Merrick and choose the complete hunter's path to let him know that you've returned all cargo safe and sound. Merrick will tell you how grateful he is for your efforts, but that there's still more work to be done. He will ask that you continue to bring him resources to help restore Golden Sands Outpost. On completing this chapter, you will receive the Savior of Golden Sands sails. You'll want to stick around to grab one more of Merrick's journals here. From Merrick, head to the tavern at the center of the outpost. Then, from the tavern, walk east across the bridge to the East Isle. Right after you step off the bridge, you will see the journal lying on the ground to your right. Now that you've helped Merrick, it's time to see what the servant's plan is all about. Go to the nearest active outpost and speak with Lorena again. If you're at Golden Sands, Sanctuary Outpost could be a good option. When you speak with Lorena, choose the servant's path this time. You will start chapter one of the servant's path as soon as you let Lorena know you want to investigate those strange sightings. After speaking with Lorena, you will receive a note from her. This note will tell you to sail over to Wanderer's Refuge and see what the shadowy figure is planning. Wanderer's Refuge is in the Shores of Plenty region. You can locate the island on your map table at the coordinates F12. Sail to Wanderer's Refuge and find the shadowy figure as soon as you're ready. Once you've arrived at Wanderer's Refuge, dock your ship and make your way to the highest bell on top of the island. As you approach the bell, you will see a ghostly bird, a reaper scout, sitting on the bell and a shadowy figure in the nearby bushes. The shadowy figure will then disappear into the bushes. It looks like we'll have to follow him. From the bushes, face southwest and look down the hill. You will see a couple more Reaper Scouts leading to the cannon. Follow the Reaper Scouts down the hill to find the same shadowy figure disappearing into the bushes next to the cannon. Now from these bushes, face south by southeast and you'll see another trail of Reaper Scouts. 
Follow them south by southeast until you find the shadowy figure standing next to the Grey Marrow Altar. The shadowy figure will not disappear this time, but reveal himself to be the Servant of the Flame. Speak with him to complete Chapter 1. He will welcome you and ask you to meet him at the Reaper's Hideout. Before you leave though, you want to read one of the Servant's journals here. Head to the rocky tunnel that cuts through the middle of the island. On the northwest side of the tunnel are a cooking spot and the Servant journal you seek. After reading the journal, sail to the Reaper's Hideout and head into the large building on the island. You'll find the Servant of the Flame there waiting for you. Speak with him and choose the Continue Servant's Path option to let him know that you're ready to serve the Reaper's Bones. After he fills you in on his plan, he will give you an enchanted servant's compass and orders to follow. Before taking on his list of tasks, you'll want to read the servant's journal hidden here. Head to the wooden scaffolding just south of the main building on the island. The journal you seek is on the middle floor of the scaffolding, below a wooden path to a cannon. Alright, back to business. The servant's list of tasks will have you row a soul flame rowboat between islands, deliver supplies, and release energy on golden sands. You'll need to complete every task in one sitting to complete the chapter. There are no checkpoints, so make sure you have about an hour to smuggle the goods and attack Golden Sands. The first task is to locate your Soul Flame rowboat on Reaper's Hideout. You'll want to use your servant's compass to find the rowboat. The compass will always point you towards your current task, which is at the moment to find the rowboat, so the compass will lead you right to it. You can equip it via your quest radial. The Soul Flame Robo is not your average Robo. It is painted red and black and also has a reinforced explosive keg strapped to the back of it. You'll want to be careful with this Robo. The keg it carries can be manually lit by interacting with it. It can also be damaged until it explodes. It is much more resistant than normal gunpowder barrels, but a couple of cannon shots or a handful of bullets will still cause it to blow up. As soon as you locate the Soul Flame Robo your compass led you to, jump in it and row it over to your ship. While the task says row, you don't actually need to row the rowboat between islands. You just need to make sure you approach the island in your rowboat with your ship at a safe distance away. You see, the Reaper smugglers only trust pirates in Soul Flame rowboats and will not reveal themselves if any ship is too close. So, dock your rowboat to your ship and you'll be ready for your next task. Your servant's compass will now point you towards your next objective, which is to collect a relic cache from the Twin Groves. Sail towards Twin Groves and park your ship about half a square away. If you see the island's name pop up, you are probably too close. From your parked ship, row your rowboat into the island and the Reaper Smuggler will appear on the north side of the island. Don't forget that you can use your servant's compass to find the exact location of the smuggler. Speak with the smuggler and they will give you the relic cash that you need to deliver. Don't leave just yet though. There is a servant journal on the northwest beach of the island that you can read for a deed. With the relic cache in hand, sail towards Cannon Cove. Again, park your ship about half a square away and row your boat to the southeast beach. You will find another smuggler there waiting for you to deliver the relic cache. Approach the smuggler with the relic cache and give it to them. You will cross off another task and your compass will now update to point you towards your final task at Golden Sands Outpost. If you get lost while rowing your boat, don't forget that your servant's compass will always point you in the direction of your next task. If you missed the servant journal from here before, head to the northwest cove to read it. The journal is lying on the ground next to the beach camp and the abandoned rowboat. Alright, it's time for the big show. The final task is to blow up your soul flame rowboat in the shallows of Golden Sands Outpost. You can sail over with your ship or row to the outpost for stealth. There might be other crews defending the outpost so you want to be careful as you approach. Once you're close enough to Golden Sands where you can see the shallows below or you're beached on the outpost with your rowboat, light its fuse and create some distance. The rowboat will shortly detonate in a giant green explosion. If you are successful, you will get a notification letting you know that you blew up the rowboat at Golden Sands outpost. With your orders complete, head back to your ship and sail over to the Servant of the Flame at Reaper's Hideout. Once at the Reaper's Hideout and with all your tasks complete, Speak with the Servant of the Flame to complete the chapter. On completing this chapter, you will receive the Servant of the Flame's Lantern. Congratulations, you've just completed the fourth adventure. But it's not over yet. You have an important decision to make. Continue to help Merrick save Golden Sands, or help the Servant destroy it. If you have any questions, comments, or battle stories from the front, leave a comment below. We'll see you on the other side, pirates.